GMDAS or GMDAS Pro. Hi dear students, welcome back to my classroom. In today's lesson, you are going to learn how to perform a series of operations on whole numbers, applying all four fundamental operations and grouping symbols using the PMDAS or GMDAS rule. Let's begin! Do you know how to solve this numerical expression? What are the operations that you can see? Since this expression involves more than one operation, we need to use the PMDAS rule. But wait, do you know what the PMDAS rule is? The PMDAS rule helps us remember the order of operations. P stands for parentheses, while M and D stands for multiplication and division. Here, multiplication and division have equal priority, which means you solve whichever comes first from left to right. If multiplication comes before division, you need to multiply first. Similarly, if division comes before multiplication, you need to divide first. Next, A and S stand for addition and subtraction. Like multiplication and division, they also have equal priority. This means you solve whichever comes first from left to right. If addition comes before subtraction, you need to add first. Similarly, if subtraction comes before addition, you need to subtract first. One more thing is that parentheses are part of the grouping symbols such as brackets. Therefore, PMDAS rule can also be referred to as the GMDAS rule. Now, let's use the GMDAS rule to solve this expression. First, let's solve everything inside the grouping symbol. Here we have expressions grouped in parentheses. Let's solve 10 divided by 2 times 5 first. We see here two operations which are multiplication and division, which should be solved first. Since division comes before multiplication, from left to right, we first divide 10 by 2. And that gives us 5. Then we multiply 5 by 5, resulting in 25. Next, let's solve inside the other grouping symbol. We have here two operations which are addition and subtraction. Since addition comes first, we will add 14 and which gives us 20. And then subtract 4 from 20, resulting to 16. Now let's combine the remaining operations. This time, we have two operations left, multiplication and addition. According to the rule, we will multiply first. So that will be 25 times 16, which is 400. And then lastly, we can now add 2. And the final answer is 402. Wonderful! Now let's have another example. Again, let's use the GMDAS rule. First, let's solve everything inside the grouping symbol. Here we have expressions grouped in parentheses. Let's solve 10 minus 5 divided by 3. We can see here two operations, division and subtraction. Which should we solve first? According to the rule, we will divide first. So that will be 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Next, subtract 5 from 10. And that is 5. Now let's combine the remaining operations. This time, we have two operations left, addition and multiplication. According to the rule, we will multiply first. So that's 5 times 3, which is 15. Then add 20, giving us the final answer of 35. Moving on to our last example. Again, let's first solve everything inside the grouping symbol. Here we have expressions grouped in parentheses. 
let's solve 8 times 5 plus 15. Here we can see two operations which are multiplication and addition. According to the rule, we need to multiply first so that 8 times 5 which is 40. Then add 15 resulting to 55. Now we have 55 divided by 5 minus 6. The last two operations here are division and subtraction. Again, according to the rule, we need to divide first. So that's 55 divided by 5, which is 11. Now let's subtract 6 from 11, which gives us the answer 5. Now it's your turn, students. Can you try this? Wonderful students, now here are the things that you learned today.